Hey guys, LD here, LD Outdoor Adventures. Hope you're all doing well. Sun decided to pop out, I have a little bit of time, so I figure I'm gonna run down to the creek. There's a little place I wanted to check out, so I'm gonna grab the RP sluice and head on down there. I'll pull you guys out once I'm down there. Hey guys, back down here at the river, having a look around here, trying to figure out where to set up my sluice. Beautiful day it turned out to be. I will uh, bring you guys back once I get everything set up and give you guys a little look-see around, let you see what I'm working. Hey guys, this is where I am. Absolutely beautiful. But the beaver, beaver dam that was up there broke, unfortunately, and now I have no flow. So setting up my sluice is gonna be a problem. So I think for today, I'm actually just going to classify down a bucket and probably take it home. I have to go pick up my little one here shortly, so I don't really have all that much time. So I'm going to dig up a little bit and I will get back to you guys. Hey guys, been down here about 45 minutes. I gotta get out of here. If you look at the tip of my finger, you can just see that little piece of gold. That's all I found so far. But, like I did say, I don't have enough flow here to run my sluice, unfortunately. So I do have a pail of cons that I'm gonna take home and pan out there. I will get back with you guys once I'm at the house. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, here it is. Don't look like much right now, I know. But we have some plans. I'm thinking this is going to end up being... If I can get myself in here. I think this is going to be my gold shack. I'm going to set up a bin back over there. She needs some work. Give me some time. But you'll see, this is going to become the studio slash gold room at some point. Hey guys, we're back at the house. I know it's not the hobby room, but I decided to sit in the living room. There's actually a show on that I want to kind of watch while I pan through everything. So I figured why not get two birds stoned at once. I'd like to also remind everybody that I will be doing a giveaway soon. Um, I'm actually already way higher in subscribers than what I thought I would be. I think I'm at 45. I was going to do it in between 50 and 75. Um, I'm actually just going to do it. The draw will be on the 15th of June, no matter how many subs I have. There will be a point. You probably can't see that very well. Oh, of course. Sorry about that, guys. A 0.44 gram nugget. Plus, I think I'm going to add a little something to it. There will be a 0.25 gram bag of pay dirt that I make up. There will be a couple coins, I'm not saying they're worth anything, they're just coins that I thought were neat, I have no clue about the coins. And I'd also like to say a huge thank you, but the wonderful, wonderful LXR has decided to donate a bag of pay dirt for a giveaway too. So I think for the first giveaway, that's not too shabby. All you have to do is subscribe when I put out the video on the 15th, comment on the video. Um, the 16th, I will do the draws and I will get everything sent out. I will say it again when I do the giveaway video for anybody in America. Just remember, I am in Canada. It will take a couple weeks for things to get sent to you. You'll have a tracking number and be able to file it, obviously, but it does take a while, trust me. Um, other than that, I think... Oh, one more thing, actually. Mail call. So, I was on Etsy the other day and came across... I told you guys I was starting to collect rounds. It sounds weird, but especially the copper ones. It's not a round, but oh, I probably won't be able to get a good view of it. It is a 100 gram, so a little over three ounce copper chunk. Um, kind of neat. It's come from a place called Kawartha Links. I'm not paid, not sponsored, not giving a shout out. It's just a random chunk of copper. I just thought it was kind of neat. It would make a neat little addition to my collection. Uh, I guess I should probably spin you guys around here and let you see what I'm working with and then I'll probably just kick on to a hyperlapse and do some panning and see what we can find. Hey guys, there's a better look at that copper. I'm just trying to get a decent picture. It's kind of neat. It's got the picture of the Lynx heads. It's got the Lynx on it. Just thought it was kind of neat. All right, back to what I'm dealing with. Of course, you got the coffee. This is what I brought back from the creek today. Um, I was not able to sluice. There was just absolutely no current whatsoever. A bunch of beaver dams got broke and I thought that would cause more current, but apparently it's got nothing. So we've got the pan set up and the old snuffer bottle over there. And 
I'm just gonna throw you guys on a time lapse and run through it. I'm not expecting much. It's only an ice cream pail. To be honest with you, if I come up with three specks of gold, I will be happy as can be. I'm gonna throw you guys on a hyperlapse, and if I find anything, I will stop you guys and show you. Hey guys, we're back. Look at that. That, my friends, is absolute beauty. Apparently, the first half of the bucket I dug was in a better spot. I knew it was. I, next time I'm back, I'll actually show you exactly where I was digging the first time and the second time. There's still only one, two, three, four, five, maybe seven pieces in there. But that's pretty dang good. I'm actually really, really happy with that. I'm going to get everything cleaned up and put that away with the rest of my gold. And I'll get back to you guys for my final thoughts. Hey guys, we're back. Had a quick safety meeting, got everything put away. Well, I had a great time. It, I found gold. But, but, I was thinking after I turned the camera off and I started looking at the gold that was there. I'm pretty sure there was some gold left in my snuff room. Last video I did, if you remember, I did a cleanup of all the paters that I had and I had a bunch of flower gold. I'm thinking that I didn't clean my snuffer bottle out properly because there was still some gold or there was more gold dumped than what I remembered snuffing up. So I'm pretty sure there was some left in there. So all that means is that I have to go back. Luckily, if everything works out, knock on wood, I'm hoping next Friday and Saturday to go to the place I was at today and prospect for all of Friday evening after work and all Saturday and see exactly what I can come up with. So expect a video should be pretty good. I'm hoping and it just be neat to be able to see what I can get when I actually put some time in instead of just an hour or two or, you know, a couple hours here. That'd be kind of neat. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. It, 45 subscribers I'm at already and to me that's just mind-blowing. I honestly figured I'd have five or ten people that might want to see what I was doing and that was it. So as I've said, we're going to be doing the giveaway. I'm going to do it on June 15th no matter if I'm still at 45 subscriber, subscribers or doesn't matter. I'm still going to end up doing it. It just it's my way to say thank you guys for joining me on my adventures. Again, I'm going to do a .44 nugget. It'll come in the neat little case and you never know, there might be a little something else thrown in there for you. There's going to be a 0.25 gram bag of pay dirt that I make up. Um, I will talk with whoever wins that one and I'm gonna make the bag kind of to what your skill set is. So if you're a beginner panner or if you've never panned, I'll make it easy for you. I won't put in a bunch of black sands and I'll make the gold a little bit bigger. If you're somebody who's experienced and you want, I'll try to give you a bag that'll give you a bit of a headache and give you something to do for a little bit of time. I'm also going to do a coin pack. There will be silver in there. That's all I know for sure is that I'm going to throw in one piece of silver. Everything else that goes in there, I have no clue of what it's worth. It was just stuff that I thought was kind of neat and I'm sure you will too. Um, LXR Postal Prospecting. If you haven't already, please go check him out. Some of the best content on YouTube and the best bag of pay dirt I have ever done. Um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to him. He has decided to donate a bag of his pay dirt for my giveaway. Um, that, that, that's pretty cool. You guys really need to go check him out. He freaking built a sluice out of Lego. Still just blows my mind built the sluice out of lego and yes it worked you guys should really really go check them out there will be a link in the description of this video um i think that's pretty much it i'll try to get one more video in this week i can't promise anything um and then like i said there will be that one coming out this weekend or next weekend i'm going to be going prospecting friday and saturday so i'll try to have the video up the 15th, I will be putting out a video. Make sure you're subscribed and you're paying attention to what's going on because I'm going to put up the video and then on the 16th, I will draw the winners. I do want to say to anybody that's in the United States, obviously I don't have an issue if you win. Just know that it takes a couple weeks to get there. You'll have a tracking number. You'll be able to follow its progress, obviously, but just know because I know from experience <laughs> it takes, excuse me, a little while for things to get there. 
Um, I'd also like to give another thank you to Eric at RPE for my RPE sluice. If it wasn't for that sluice, I wouldn't be able to do half of what I'm doing now. And you know, this whole making videos and stuff, it's absolutely amazing and I'm really enjoying it. But that sluice is, it, it's opened up a whole new world of enjoyment and relaxation. Anybody who actually prospects or pans knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's been a lifesaver and I've thought always, life is not always easy and sometimes it's nice to have somewhere to get away to. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. You guys have a great, great night and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.